What's up guys, you're welcome to another video. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can use your PC to send and receive SMS from your phone. Let's jump right in. To be able to send and receive SMS via your PC, there are two methods that we'll be talking about today. Number one method is using the messaging app. You have to download and install the latest version of messages for Android on your phone. Once you have downloaded and installed the messaging app, you go over to your PC, open your browser and visit the website messages.google.com. Once you get to messages.google.com, it's going to load up a page with a QR code for you to scan. Now you go over to your Android device, tap on the three dot menu on the top right, select pair devices. Now once you click on pair device, you use the QR code scanner on your Android Android device, scan the QR code on your PC browser, and once you have scanned the QR code on the PC browser, it's going to pair just like you have WhatsApp web. You know, you are able to connect your WhatsApp account to your from your PC to your mobile device. It, it works the, exactly the same way. So once you scan the QR code, it creates a connection between your desktop PC or your laptop PC or even your tablet with your phone, which allows you to plug your phone somewhere to charge, or you can afford to leave your phone at home, knowing fully well that as long as the phone connects to the internet you have access to your messages on on the fly on the, on your web browser now another very important thing you need to do is to turn on remember this browser setting while you are trying to make your connection because if you do not turn on that setting that means each time you are trying to access your messages you have to scan the qr code so to avoid having to scan the qr code each and every time you want to log in you have to turn on that setting that says remember this browser now the second method that we'll be talking about is using my phone companion the phone companion app is an app by microsoft that allows you to connect your windows pc with your android device so once you install the my phone companion app on your phone you go over to your pc you also have to download and install my phone app on your pc now once you have downloaded and installed the my phone app on your pc you also have to do the same thing you have to pair your phone with your pc once you have successfully paired the two devices of course you have to allow all the permissions that is requested by the my phone app to enable the communication to be seamless between your PC and your phone. Once you allow those permissions, it allows your, your PC to be able to sync with your mobile device. Now to turn on that setting, you go to my phone companion app on your phone, tap on the three button menu, click on allow sync. Once you click on allow sync, it's going to allow the PC to be able to download more or less, to be able to download the messages that you have on your on your mobile phone and display them on your PC. And now once you are able to gain access to view your messages on your PC, now sending and receiving messages becomes a breeze because the most important thing is creating a connection between your mobile device and your PC. And once that is done, you can easily send and receive messages as you please. Those are the two methods you can use to send and receive SMS messages on your PC via your phone. I'm saying via your phone because it is still necessary for you to maintain a connection with your phone even though you are using your PC to send the messages. So do not assume that the messages will just be sent straight from your PC. No, there is still need to create a connection between your PC and your phone for the messages to be able to go. Is there any task you are trying to carry out on your phone and it's proving difficult? Please drop that in the comments below so that anyone that has the answer can reply your comment or I can take it as a topic for a subsequent video. Now, if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.